Ugh. Yo, what's going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, aka The Clockmaster. We're here to check out Raised by Wolves Season 1, Episode 7. What's crazy about this, guys, is that the season finale is tomorrow. I almost wish that they did one episode per week instead of dropping two episodes per week. And that's kind of why I've been taking so long to react to these because I had to do other things during the day and I didn't have the time to do full, like two reactions in one day. So, but today I'm grinding it out. I'm doing all three episodes today for Patreon. So, Patreon, I do want to apologize for taking so long to upload these, but they will be up today. Well, by the time you're watching this, all three episodes should be up. And YouTube, um, as well, I'm going to try my best to get all three, three of these episodes up right before the season finale. Um, you're going to see a little filter thing over the video when I do the reaction because I have to block it because HBO Max and Warner Brothers has been blocking these on site. As soon as I upload them, they get blocked, they, they get blocked and taken down. So I'm putting that up there so that the content ID bot doesn't copyright my video um, or doesn't block the video so that you guys can see the reaction so don't mind there being stuff all over the thing but um anyways guys let's get into this thing and we'll talk about it later as you normally do let's get into it now and i keep forgetting to say this full reactions to this episode this entire season will be on patreon link in the description box below okay let's go damn yeah Yo, how's she gonna get her eyes back she saved your life! Let me out! Reinforce this door. Dang, bro. I would have, like, try my best to get out this door. <clears throat> Ooh. The meat from the monster. Man. Shouldn't have taken out her eyes, man. How are they going to get it? How is she going to get her eyes back? I'll be with Paul. The story continues, bro. No matter what planet you go on, humans are the same daggone same. No matter what planet you go on, bro. You can go to the far edge of the outer rim. <laughs> And, and humans are still going to be the same old ridiculous types of beings ever. That ain't going to change nothing. Did you change her name, Lucas? Oh, she knows. I How does she know? Oh. Surgical scars when we first met. Mm, okay. Your original face was tattooed when you were just a child. Oh. What are you doing? They didn't hear any of that? No one goes in there but me. Yes, Your Eminence. How did they not hear any of that? <clears throat> Father, they fixed you. Remove yourself from my hand, child. You will hinder my performance. What did they do to him? Oh, they fixed him to, to serve for them? Ah. I guess it makes <clears throat> everything that happened to me okay. I mean, like, she she definitely, they definitely, they definitely were, like, kidnapped. Like, I get that. They were taken from, you know, but these people are kind of corrupt. I ain't gonna trip. Oh, it's got like a Jenga master. <laughs> Look at this. He's not an orphan after all. Bro, he is an orphan, technically. <laughs> he still is an orphan. Technically speaking. They just look like them. I mean, she has a point if you want to get by, but like, wait, aren't those the carbos in there? Can he eat those? We miss you. The heck? 
Who that? What that? Oh! Are there someone behind him? What the heck? Oh my god, the toys, dude. What the heck? What the heck? You mean kill your father? You mean kill, kill father? Oh, this construction is crazy. Your heart? Or would you prefer to return to the silo? Yeah, it's like forcing him. That's really the, like that's what kind of religion for? Like, if any religion has to force you to become part of it, then that then that's not a good religion to join. An unconquerable light. You should be able to accept it on your own accord. You should not be forced like this. Soul. Accept soul, soul or go back to the silo. Like, what the heck is that? Stones. Wow. They don't mean wow. Literally use a spuria stone. This is your last chance to save yourself. Ooh. Who's he gonna kill? Hey pops. <laughs> hey pops. <laughs> so what's gonna happen, man? What is he doing? What's gonna happen, man? Yeah, she know he's not. Yeah. Reprogrammed him. Man, I really hope a part of him is still in there. Seriously. Got the blood from the thing. It's like fresh. What the heck? What? What is that thing? Who is that dude? Can I please have an answer? Like, stop. Messing with me. Is that why? Ah, so creepy. What the heck, man? Like, why do you keep popping in and popping out? What are you trying to do? Leaving a blood trail. Tempest is falling. Hmm. Okay. She's following the blood. Ooh, the creatures. Oh. Yay, she saved. Oh. Wait, what? How? Wait, was he actually fighting someone? I thought it was just his mind. He's dead now? Ah, uh, the mouse. Oh, this little guy somehow made it through all this. So. No, because he did. Or he about to be. Just wait here. Which is crazy. Are you off my guy like that? Dang. Ooh, what a wound. Go to the barracks, get me water. Now. Who did this to you? Kill 
did it to him himself. Me. I've got everything to it's not Paul. It's him. It's not the atheist kid. It's him. It's me. What? Who told you? Okay. That's a big plot twist. Kind of saw that it was setting up to, to to be that. Okay, let's talk about it, man. Man, how again? I say this about every episode, but it's the same. It's the same. The same thing still stands. Like, um, how do you <laughs> how do you process what just happened? How do you process an episode like that? So much stuff happened in there. Like, there's still so many unanswered questions. Like, wh who's the thing that's like whispering to to Campion? Is it actually Tally or is it something else? Who was that guy that had that little hut set up with the with the map and everything? I was kind of running around the place. We still haven't seen him yet or that person yet. We still that per, we still haven't seen that person yet. Who is that person? Um, you know, uh, why you know, um, why is uh, Marcus or Caleb? Why is he hearing voices all of a sudden now? Who's actually talking to him? Is Soul talking to him? I'm still not clear on that. I'm still not clear on if it's Soul or if it's some type of person that's kind of like controlling them or some type of energy that kind of lives there. Is is Soul real? Is the real question. Like, is Soul real or is it just their imagination? Like, we still have yet to figure that part out. So I need to get answers for that. Like, I need answers desperately for that um man i i just don't know where to begin what to do with that um i don't know man i'm lost i'm lost tempest is she still stuck out there like she was following them is she like stuck out there does she walk back oh she doesn't die out there in the cold because it gets really cold um what's going to happen with campion how is this whole situation going to be resolved how is this story going to be resolved i know that it's been picked up for a season two so i want to see how they conclude this season if they're going to leave us on a major cliffhanger tomorrow what's going to happen with that anyways y'all thank you so much for watching my reaction i hope you enjoyed it and as always i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching clockmaster out